On this morning's Health Watch, drug prices. Americans spend more than $250 billion every year on prescription medication. And if you don't have insurance, it really pays to shop around. Our consumer correspondent Susan Copen is here with some advice. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. There are plenty of people who pay for their drugs without the help of insurance, so cost does matter. We call pharmacies across the country comparing prices on everything from Paxil to Lipitor, and we found that drug prices are not created equal. When Christine Nyholm lost her job, she also lost her health insurance. She was on her own when it came to buying her prescription drugs. I actually was taking three medications regularly, and one of them I had stopped taking because I couldn't afford it. So Christine's doctor advised her to shop around. I never thought about shopping around for prescription drugs before because I didn't need to. I was amazed at what I learned. Christine even wrote about her experience on the website Associated Content, where she detailed what happened when she went shopping for an antibiotic. And I called about a half dozen drug stores in the area and just asked for a quote. And Walgreens was $49 for this prescription. And I called uh, Costco and the same prescription was $22. So it was a, still a, a very, very big difference. We decided to do our own shopping around, calling pharmacies across the country for price quotes. First, we checked for a one month supply of the popular antidepressant Paxil. In Los Angeles, a Walgreens gave us a price of $170. But at a Rite Aid, the same prescription was only $85, half the price. As for a month's supply of the drug Lipitor, at a CVS pharmacy in Dallas, the prescription was $142. But we found it cheaper at a Sam's Club, where the price was $122, a savings of $20. And when we called pharmacies in New York City about the asthma drug Advair, Walgreens quoted us $322. But at Dwayne Reed, the price was just $209. That's more than a $100 difference. I think shopping around is very important. I think Lori Riley is with Pharma, which represents the pharmaceutical industry. About 75% of the cost of any prescription is the price that the manufacturer ultimately receives for that product. But another 25% of that is costs that are added on by other people in the, in the chain, so either the wholesaler or the pharmacy. So they do have some flexibility. Christine Nyholm says she now saves about $150 a month on her prescription drugs. I would definitely rec recommend shopping shopping around. You probably would be amazed at how much difference that it makes. Asking for generics is a cheaper way to go and shopping at approved online pharmacies can also save you money, Maggie. Any words of caution for people who shop around? Well, you know, if you're shopping around different pharmacies, different pharmacists, let everybody know so they can tell you if there's going to be a bad interaction. Everybody needs to know the drugs that you're taking. Very important. Susan Copen, thanks.